morning. Right now, city council members in St. Petersburg are talking about several important items on the agenda. That would include an update on the Pier Approach Project and a ferry that would run between St. Pete and downtown Tampa. News Channel 8's Jamel Lene joins us live from downtown St. Pete with the very latest. Sounds interesting, Jamel. Uh, very interesting, Stacy. And like you said, we're waiting on a vote here on the ferry. But as we've already learned that Tampa City Council leaders, they've already voted to approve funding for the ferry that would run between um, St. Petersburg and downtown Tampa. Now, another uh, item that's talked that's being talked about on that agenda is the Appear Approach project. Let's go ahead and uh, go to some video that we shot a little bit earlier. Now, just a couple of notes. Designers, they revealed new renderings, which included a market square a walking waterfront, parking, restaurants, and a park area, or an amphitheater that would be for, like, special events. And that's all in the budget. So what do designers want to add? Well, a kid's play area, an arts bridge, and a plaza, which designers are hoping to get additional funding for. Now, again, later during this meeting, we hope sometime soon, council members will vote on that ferry. Uh, Hillsborough County commissioners, they voted yesterday to approve funding funding for that ferry. And again, we just learned Tampa city leaders, they voted. And we believe that Pinellas County city leaders, they will vote sometime next week. So again, each municipality is going to approve $350,000 each to go towards that ferry pilot program. Again, it will run for six months. And if all goes well, it will start, it will roll out November 1st. Stacy.